what's up guys I'm Ravi KK and welcome to another uh, Java video okay so in this particular video we would be discussing uh, what are Java swings okay and I'd be giving you I'll be showing you a small example we will not be going into much of deep deep concept uh, what swings are just a brief description and a small program why we uh, why swings are nowadays used most uh, widely okay so now before going to the topic uh, Let's take a small example, like uh, in case of C and C++. Uh, if you want to create, if you wanted to create a small addition program, like uh, if you wanted to accept two inputs from the user, you have to give input, I mean, instruction to the user. Please enter first number. Then a user would uh, give you the first number. Then uh, after accepting the first number, you would give another instruction, like uh, please enter second number. User used to give you the second number also, but the was the interface I mean was the user interface the inter the way of interacting with the user was it a pretty cool one uh, I don't think so it was a very dull dull thing it has a black screen a white text over here it has nothing like a colorful kind of thing it was not user friendly in short to say so now how to create uh, like user friendly interfaces uh, using Java uh, swing now uh, swings are uh, swing is the topic that I would, uh, we are we use um, more often to create attractive windows. Earlier we used to use I mean programmer used to uh, prefer AWT for creating attractive windows, but uh, those are uh, heavy weighted components. So it had uh, heavy weighted components. Now. So Java developers of Java created uh, uh, swings a topic called a swings which uh, consumes a very low amount of memory uh, as compared to AWT. Okay, so uh, now see the, this uh, IDE. Now look at this IDE. It has a pretty good title over here. Uh, there are a lot of menus over here and uh, maximize, minimize uh, options over here, buttons over here. There is a small text box over here. Now how can we create uh, this uh, all these uh, things using Java Swings? Now throughout this upcoming 20 to 25 tutorials, I guess I don't know the count of how many tutorials I'm gonna create on java swings we will be discussing each and every component of java swing okay so you need not to worry of how how to create uh, all these components i'll be teaching you the simplest way that i use i don't know whether it's the simplest way or not but uh, most pro mostly i prefer that those methods so in this <coughs> sorry in this video we are going to create a 200 by 200 frame okay so you have to import uh, two things for that that is a uh, import Java dot awt dot star okay so import Java x dot swings dot j frame okay now our program name is my frame so if you know uh, create uh, like uh, I showed you the the pretty good title over here menus over here. Uh, maximize minimize close uh, buttons over here so you have to import uh, this particular class that is jframe class and you have to extend our particular this uh, the class we have created with the name my frame you have to include all those functionalities so for that you have to use this extends extends concept uh, inheritance extends jframe okay so okay now to create a 200 by 200 frame you have to use a method that is set size method 200 by 200 okay so another method that uh, we have to use is set visible true okay until now if you don't do not include this particular method that is set visible true your frame will not be visible no matter how many attract how many components uh, 10 to 15 components you or more than that components if you add in your frame it will not be visible until and unless you add this particular method okay so another method that we will be using is set a default close operation that is exit on close okay now you have to use this particular uh, method over here until and I mean if you do not include uh, this particular method over here if you exit out the frame directly the process would still be running uh, the background so you have to include this so that your program or uh, the project or application will not be messed up it will be completely exi uh, exited okay so okay so now if you want to add title to your frame uh, you can use the super uh, okay 
so this is my first frame okay the spelling is wrong no matter we are just dealing with how to create title okay so this is a, one of the way how to give title to your frame like uh, we have over here that is netbeans id 6.7.1 now another method that is uh, i am i use this method that is set a title that is uh, this is my full first frame okay so now let's run this program whether uh, trans or not so okay this is our first program it's completely i mean it has been executed successfully now see it has a, a title over here that is this is my first frame it has a minimize maximize uh, close button there is uh, no uh, no contents of there are no contents over here that we have uh, included in a frame so now this is one of the way how to create uh, such a frame by coding things now I guess we have coded um, 10 to 15 lines. Now, how to create these frames directly uh, using forms? Now, I would highly recommend uh, for students who are learning Java Swings to uh, not uh, try this method uh, unless you you are uh, I mean uh, perfect with uh, the coding part.